Ladies and gentlemen, I now invite Dr. Darren Entwistle to deliver the convocation address. Dr. Entwistle. Thank you very much, Chancellor Steinberg and Principal Monroe Bloom. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to McGill University for this absolutely tremendous honor. This morning when I was getting ready with my wife, she asked me a very poignant question. She opened up the shower door and said, how did we get to be the old people rather than the students graduating? Doesn't 25 years go fast? And I would advocate to you, use it fruitfully. De retour aujourd'hui, je peux affirmer que mon séjour à McGill fut déterminant. Il a contribué au fondement de mes connaissances, de mes compétences et de ma vision sur le monde. Ces éléments me servent depuis ce temps dans ma carrière et aussi dans ma vie. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the outstanding faculty and administration for your exemplary skills in delivering what is undoubtedly a world-leading curriculum. And in this regard, I'd like to take a brief moment to recognize Principal Monroe Bloom on her tremendously successful 10-year tenure at McGill University. Heather, during your term, you've established a remarkable track record with respect to advancing higher education, science, and innovation in Canada, and as well, internationally. Additionally, you've materially strengthened McGill's global leadership contributions with respect to research and graduate programs, significantly elevating the university experience for your 35,000 students. Indeed, you provided your students with unparalleled education opportunities, which in the future will yield economic, social, and cultural benefits in our country and around the globe. You have, Heather, my deepest admiration, and I do wish you all the best in the exciting future endeavors that you're going to pursue and realize. J'aimerais maintenant féliciter les diplômés de 2013. Your accomplishments to date are truly impressive. I hope that you take great personal pride in what you've achieved as individuals and as well as a formidable collective. Your premier education has afforded you the opportunity, the tremendous opportunity for, to pursue your chosen career path and importantly, make meaningful contributions to society and the causes that you feel passionate about. En effet, la prochaine étape de votre vie testera votre détermination à poursuivre vos rêves dans un monde en constante évolution. I urge you, embrace change, seize the accompanying opportunities, and maintain your appetite for lifelong learning and personal exploration, steadily building upon the foundation of your education and the friendships that you fostered here at McGill University. Notre pays vit présentement une grande transition démographique. Elle aura sans doute une influence majeure sur votre avenir. Indeed, a wave of our country's most experienced leaders are preparing to retire from Canada's workforce during the next decade, taking with them a lifetime of skills, knowledge, and expertise. Businesses, governments, and non-for-profit alike will be challenged in the years ahead to fill essential leadership roles. You're going to step in to that vacuum. Votre education and your qualities of leader 
seront précieuses ressources. Elles guideront, formeront et soutiendront le développement de notre pays. Indeed, I believe a new leadership constituency will emerge with leaders who strive for excellence and persevere despite the inevitable obstacles that they encounter along the way. Leaders who build and inspire teams to answer society's most profound challenges and understand that through embracing diversity, they can create a whole that's larger than the sum of its parts. And leaders who have an absolute passion, a hunger for innovation. Leaders who have the courage to take risks along the way and the humility to learn from successes and mistakes alike. This new leadership society comprised of highly educated, hyper-connected, and socially conscious individuals will bring fresh perspectives on what role our country and its citizens can play in a global economy, answering the significant challenges in front of us. Ils auront aussi une influence sur les affaires, la politique, les arts et la culture, et, espérons-le, les défis qui touchent la société. Les défis vitaux, tels que la transformation de nos soins de santé pour le bien-être de nos citoyens. I believe that the next generation of innovators who will form this leadership society is right here with us in this room today. Please be proud and build upon your exceptional accomplishments upon your graduation from this preeminent university. I'd like to take a brief moment now to share with you six leadership principles that have guided both my life and my career. Hopefully, in some small way, these principles will help you realize your personal definition of success. Firstly, I encourage you to gravitate to what inspires you in your chosen field and in life. And I promise your personal definition of success will follow. Deuxièmement, soyez prêt à remettre en question le status quo. Travaillez avec les nouvelles réalités au lieu de regarder vers le passé. Laissez-vous guider par votre passion et votre imagination. To be a leader, you must possess the courage to express your views and pursue your dreams despite the adversity and the uncertainty that you will surely encounter. Thirdly, in your quest for extraordinary accomplishment, you must push the outside of the envelope and take calculated risks in order to advance your ideas to their next level of development. De temps en temps, plan to ask for forgiveness, not permission. A technique I would suggest you probably first tried out on your parents. I truly believe that our country's vibrancy depends upon innovators and risk takers, a human asset that needs to be more pervasive across the Canadian context. Quatrièmement, lorsque vous aurez élaboré votre stratégie gagnant, faites preuve de discipline pour la respecter, surtout lorsque des obstacles se présenteront. Entourez-vous de personnes qui partagent votre vision et votre détermination. I can tell you from personal experience, there is no linear path to success. Fifthly, measure yourselves from a global standard, socially, economically, and competitively. By only considering the Canadian context, you will be selling yourselves short and setting your expectations 
Tulo. Dernièrement, je vous implore de tendre la main à ceux dans le besoin. C'est notre responsabilité à tous. Je crois que pour réussir en affaires, nous devons donner où nous vivons. Soyez généreux de votre temps et de vos ressources. Vous aiderez ainsi à créer des collectivités saines, solides et durables. Graduates, as the next generation of leaders, you are indeed inheriting a great mantle of responsibility that you will live up to. A mantle of responsibility to drive our economy, to protect our environment, and support our nation's health and its social well-being. Alors que votre carrière avancera, ne perdez jamais de vous ce que vous importe le plus. Please, never let ambition interfere with the precious time that you need to spend with your loved ones. When I first started out at TELUS 13 years ago, my father at that time gave me a very important piece of advice that I only truly recognized in retrospect. He said to me, embrace technology as a way to improve our quality of life. But never forget that it is not, and it can never be, a substitute for human compassion. In closing, I extend my best wishes for your continued success, which I am sure of. Peu importe votre chemin, vous ferez de bien grandes choses. Allez-y, les diplômés de 2013. Go get them, class of 2013. Take risks. Be passionate about your ambitions. Achieve great things. Be an even greater human being. Je vous remercie encore une fois ce grand honneur. Merci.